Hello YouTube, this is Shubham Tendulkar and this is my first video on YouTube. So let's hope that it goes well. So today I am going to do a review on Cyanogen Mod 13. Um, so let's go ahead and start the video. Yeah, so here we go. Um, so we are on the tributary launcher and we are running the marshmallow that is 6.0.1 on Redmi Note 3 Pienzo. This is a Snapdragon variant which is a 3 GB variant of 32 GB internal storage. So I've installed the official Cyanogen mod which is a snapshot version not the nicely version. The snapshot version gets less updates so I've installed this one and it's pretty stable. Yeah. So till now I have not noticed any I have not noticed any bugs right now. So that's all. So let's start with the review. So by default we get a tributate launcher of Cyanogen mod in which we can customize simple things like uh, the Java style should be compact or sections. So this is like sections. But personally I prefer compact version it looks good and we get jello launcher which is a cyanogen mod launcher right now which is based on chromium i think so yeah. and there's a snapdragon camera in which we get pl plenty of features like uh, picture size picture quality countdown timer we have but my personal favorite is the MIU web camera I like that one pretty much but this is also fine it, it does the work perfectly so I've installed the gaps open gaps uh, micro version so there are basically no other Google apps other than the Google services and the Google Play Store so it is a clean ROM so as you can see there is only audio effects which is to uh, do the equalizer and stuff yeah we get the basic apps applications like uh, calculator calendar and those stuff the music app is a uh, Apollo I think so it is an Apollo I think so yeah it is an Apollo music launcher uh, music player yeah this in settings it's nearly stock android yeah and believe me when i say stock android it's stock android uh, there is the multi window option also available which was actually not available in the moto g stock version of the android i don't know why but in this one we have the multi window option uh, yeah enable it so as you can see the dialer is also stock and it's pretty fast so for multi window you just need to click to do this box and choose where the dialer or the application should be so this is how the multi window works on the opposite screen we have the settings and below that we have the contacts yeah and then uh, here in quick settings we have <coughs> two pages so it's pretty convenient and when we swipe from the right edge of the screen we directly go to the quick settings so we don't have to do a swipe to get to the quick settings and that's it guys there is a just in screen recorder in inbuilt and that's it guys Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and hope this video is good and you will like it.